Hi everybody, this is Ms. Dietrich. In this video, we are going to explore these two shapes here. We have a rectangle and we have a parallelogram. And we're going to explore why, in both cases, if we're going to find the area, we can use the formula area equals base times height. Now the first thing you have to know is how do you know you're looking at a parallelogram? Because most people are pretty familiar with how you can tell you're looking at a rectangle. But how do you know you're looking at a parallelogram? Well, here's what has to be true. It has to have four sides and opposite sides have to be equal and parallel. So these two sides are parallel to each other, by the way. They both have a length of 11. And then these two sides are parallel to each other. And they're, you know, they're equal. All right, so this is a parallelogram and this is a rectangle. Now, if we were to actually figure out the base and the height in both cases, the base is 11. So let's take a look at why it's 11 if we count each individual 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that's also going to be true for the parallelogram. So you can see it's the same length. And if we talk about the height on this, you can see that it's 5. And remember the height on a parallelogram, it must be perpendicular to the base. So sometimes on a worksheet you might even see the height represented as a dotted line outside the figure. But it does have to be perpendicular meaning that it forms a 90 degree angle with whatever you're calling the base. All right, so you can see that in both cases, the base is 11 and the height is 5. So both of these figures have 55 square centimeters. Now let's explore why they're equal. Now what I've attempted to do here, even though it's not perfect, I'm just going to show you how this and this make up the same shape. Now watch carefully because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slide this over and go like that. Now do you see how this rectangle and this rectangle are congruent? That helps you understand why they're both 55 square centimeters. Now another way you could look at this, let's pull this off to the side. I'm going to move this over here, move this over here, and move this over here so that you can see that it's the same figure. Now I can also take the rectangle in the middle, take this piece and put it here, and take this piece and put it here and you can see that if I just rearrange it that that also matches in dimensions this rectangle. This is true for any parallelogram as long as you can figure out what the base and the height is and you multiply those together you're going to find the area.